this is on a whole nother level, y'all. Hey guys, what's up, welcome back. So, here we are with another lip product video. This is my type of content, you guys. Like, I live and breathe lip products, whether that's a lip gloss, lip balm, lip oil. I just love it. So, I have been trying out so many different lip products. And I wanted to discover some new ones, like some new favorites for the fall and winter since fall is literally tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, but y'all know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, so I found a lot of good favorites. I wanna leave the video where I tried out a ton of lip products down below in the description if you guys missed that video. Um, Cause in that video, I just tried out the products. Like I didn't really give you guys like full reviews. So since that video, I have been trying more of those products, of course. And I've also purchased some more lip products to try out. So I have a couple of the lip products that I featured in that video that's gonna be in this video. And then I have some that I have not even told you guys about on my channel that have become my current staples. These are gonna be my go-to lip products for the fall and winter time. They're hydrating, they're nourishing. So that is what we're talking about today. Products that are hydrating and nourishing on the lips. No lipsticks or liquid lipsticks, just specifically lip balms, lip oils, and lip sleeping masks. So get a snack, get you a drink, get comfortable, and let's get into it. All right, girls, so I put these in categories. I have three lip balms, three lip oils, and three lip sleeping masks. All of these are clear, so I'm not gonna be doing any lip swatches. I mean, they would all look the same, just like a clear, glossy <laughs> lip. Um, but I will swatch them on my hands so you guys can see how, you know, like the finish of them and all of that. Um, but they're all gonna look the same. But anyway, let's talk about the lip balms, girl. Phyto Glow Lip Balm from Natrium. I know you guys have seen this one in that video, but if you missed that video, remember I will have a link down below. Um, yeah, it's the Natrium Phyto Glow Lip Balm and I got clear because I wanted, like I prefer a clear lip balm over anything, you know, colorful, but they do have other colors in this if you wanna try it out. This lip balm has a metal applicator, which is gonna allow the product to feel cold on the lips. I mean, the actual product is not like it, there's no cooling sensation, but the tip of it is cold. So once you put it on the lips, it just feels really cold and good and just, I don't know, I just like it. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out if you've never seen it or if you never tried out this lip product. If you have tried out Summer Friday's lip balm, this is a more, this is a cheaper alternative to it. It looks just like it, even though it is clear. It smells just like it, it feels just like it, but but since I've been trying this out, I have noticed this actually lasts longer on my lips than the Summer Fridays lip balm, which is crazy. Like I, would, I wouldn't even think something from the drugstore would, you know, be better than my Summer Fridays. Even though my Summer Fridays lip balm is still my favorite, <laughs> but I have realized that this actually wears longer on my lips. And that's not to say that Summer Fridays is not long wearing, it's just not as long wearing as this one if that makes sense. Um, but they both literally feel the same and look the same on the lips. Um, but yes, I love this, love this, love this. This is one that I always throw in my purse. Um, and it's just one of my favorite lip balms that I have in my collection. Now, speaking of Summer Fridays, I had to whip this out because it's still my favorite. I like this one better than their original one because I like the color of this one and I like how it makes my lips look. If you want a, um, a lip balm that's gonna give you the slightest amount of color on the lips, like a really pretty flush of pink or mauve type of color, let me swatch it so y'all can see it. This is also one that I showed in that video that is um, linked in the description down below. So I did like a try on, but this one right here is really, really pretty and natural. It's not too pigmented. I know I just squirted out a lot, but once you rub it in on the lips, it, I mean, it doesn't really um, give you much color, but you can still, like, it's there. You know, it's not too much color, but it's just enough. So, love this. Love the one from Natrium. And then this one right here. Wow, this is one that I know for a fact I have been sleeping on is the Tree Hut Sugar Lips Lip Butter. If you don't wanna spend the money on Summer Fridays, if you don't wanna spend the money on the Phyto Glow Lip Balm from Nat Natrium, Natri Natrium, <laughs> get this one. 
This is like $4, four or $5, very affordable, but it's just as good as a Summer Fridays in the um, Fido Glow Lip Balm. But this one is a little bit more glossy on the lips. It is so smooth and buttery and it has a really nice scent. It's almost like a lemon, I don't know, girl. It kind of smells fruity, it's really nice. It's not lemon, what am I saying lemon for? It's not, it doesn't smell anything like lemon, but it's a really sweet, fruity scent and I like it. So, oh, let me squirt it so y'all can see it. It has a milky color just like the Summer Fridays, the original Summer Fridays and just like this one. So like I said, if you don't wanna spend the extra money on the Summer Fridays lip balm or this one from Natrium, let me show you them side by side. All right, so this one is Natrium right here. Natrium, Natorium. Girl, I'm probably saying the name so wrong, but and then this one is at the top is uh, the tree hut. So they both have that, you know, like that white, clear, milky color. But once you actually apply it on the lips, it's very glossy, it's very smooth, and it's not sticky. And let me just say before we even go into the lip oils, this one from Tree Hut has easily taken the place of my Milani Fruit Fetish lip balm. Comment down below if you guys remember my obsession with that thing. I loved, loved, loved that lip balm. But since I've tried this one out, this has easily taken its place. This one's more buttery on the lips. It's just more nourishing on the lips. And I live for this one from Tree Hut. So let y'all know that because I know some of you know my obsession with the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Balm. Okay, now let's talk about lip oils. I have one affordable one that you can get from the drugstore and then two that are not sold at the drugstore, but they're not too expensive, if that makes sense. Let's talk about the affordable one, y'all. Jason Wu. This is the other lip product that I shared in that video that is linked down below in the description. But like I said, I have been trying the lip products out and this has easily, easily, easily become my favorite, favorite affordable lip oil. So if you are looking for a lip, bo uh, a lip, I was about to say lip balm, a lip oil that is for one affordable, that does not dry your lips out, that feels almost like a lip gloss, but it's not as thick or it's not sticky like a lip gloss, but it gives you the shine like a lip gloss. This is this is what you're gonna wanna try out. Now some lip oils I've tried, they usually like they, they dry down too fast. It's almost like I have to put something else on the lips, but this one wears almost like, I'm. I wonder if this is a gloss instead of an oil. You know how some brands be marketing stuff as lip oils when it could be, honestly and truly, it could be a gloss because it's, you know, it almost wears like a gloss. But this is how shiny and glossy it looks. And I kid you not, it's almost like you're wearing a lip gloss, but it's not thick like a lip gloss or sticky. Like it's very smooth and buttery and it's very comfortable on the lips. So I highly recommend this lip oil if you are on the hunt for um, an affordable lip oil. And you can also wear this with any other lip product that you want. So say if you have a lipstick, but you want something super juicy and glossy on top, then I would say put this on top. Maybe not put it, like maybe not apply it on top, like directly on top of the lipstick with the applicator, cause you can mess it up like that, but just put it on your finger and then just kind of dab it all over the lips. But this is good. I love it. Now, this one from Sigma, I feel like I'm gonna have to get another one cause I have been using the mess out of this thing. It's the Renew Lip Oil and this is in the shade um, Tint. Now this actually has a little bit of color to it but it doesn't really show up much once I put it on my lips. So I guess that's why they call it Tint cause it gives you a tint, I don't know. But that's just a weird, cause the other colors are not called Tint. They have actual different names but this one's called Tint. Anyway, this, <laughs> This is what she looks like, really pretty and glossy. The one from Jason Wu actually looks more glossy on the lips than the one from Sigma. This one, I have something on my lips already, so y'all won't be able to see, but we're just gonna apply it anyway, cause it's not clear. And I'd love to show y'all what she looks like, but I mean, it goes on, it literally goes on clear. 
but there are other uh, <laughs> but there are other colors if y'all are wanting they have a pink one they have a berry one they also have a milky pinky looking color but it I mean it's clear once you put it on but yeah I really 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 like these lip oils they're super comfortable and I like the fact that I can use these on top of any other lip product that I want to use like a lipstick liquid lipstick I don't even wear liquid lipstick anymore um, I used to I just don't really like them as much as I used to but um, yeah lipstick lip liner you know if you just want to put on whatever color lip liner you want and then put something on top I think lip oils are great if you don't want to wear a lip gloss or if you don't want to wear any other type of lip product with your lip liner these are great the, oops the last lip oil that I have to share is this one from Merit this is in the shade Bel Air now this one is not as glossy as the other two that I showed you but it is very very nourishing on the lips and this color in particular has little tiny gold like it has some gold shimmer in it but once you put it on you can't see any of the shimmer unless you're like super duper close <laughs> but that is what Merit looks like right there so out of these three, the only one that actually has a scent is the one from Jason Wu. And it's not strong at all. Like it's very faint. It's really sweet. <sighs> yes, yeah, really nice, sweet scent. I can't really explain it though, but it is nice and sweet. But the other two, they don't have a scent at all. So if you don't like scented lip products, um, I'm pretty sure you will like the ones from Sigma and this one from Merit. But even Jason Wu, I mean, it's, you can't really smell it once you put it on your lips. And it does kind of fade away anyway. But this by far is the best, one of the best affordable lip products that I have in my collection. And I just love it. So we made it to the lip mask, the lip sleeping mask. And I'm very excited to share these. I have one that I want to update you guys on and two new ones that... I can't wait to share. So um, let me update you guys on the, well, no, I've already updated you guys on this, but it's my favorite. <laughs> it is my favorite. Well, one of my favorite lip sleeping masks. So this is how she looks. It's the Jason Wu Bedtime Story Overnight Lip Mask. And I know I've said this quite a few times, but um, it's very similar to the Laneige lip sleeping mask. You know, the one that you get from Sephora that's like, I think over $20. This is exactly like it. It is exactly like it, you guys. The main difference is the smell. This has almost like a peppermint scent, but it's not, like it doesn't really last on the lips and it's not gonna, you know, really give you a headache or anything like that, but yeah, as far as like the texture though, like how it feels, how my lips look and feel the next day, cause I mean, obviously I wear these overnight. Um, it reminds me so much of the Laneige, Laneige <laughs> lip sleeping mask. So here's a little swatch of it. So you can see that it's pink, but once you put it on, it's literally clear on your lips. It kind of gives you a pink tint if your lips are a little bit lighter, but if you have, um, you know, pigmented lips like mine, it's going to look pretty clear on the lips anyway. So, yes, love this. I find that I use this more than I even use my Laneige lip sleeping mask because, I don't know, this has just been my go-to lip sleeping mask ever since I tried it. And... So I am excited to share these next two because they're pretty new, but I have been testing them out because I want to tell you guys about them. <sighs> Y'all ready? <laughs> one is this one from Belief. I had no clue that they sold lip sleeping masks. Girl, this is, it's the Belief Aqua Bomb Overnight Lip Mask. Belief has one of the best moisturizer it's called the aqua bomb moisturizer and they also have a really good um makeup melting bomb. what is it the aqua bomb melt i believe but it's like a melt uh cleansing bomb that you you know melt your makeup off with y'all y'all uh, okay <laughs> i like this better than laneige i'm gonna say it right now yes 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 i like it better the Laneige, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This doesn't even have a fragrance to it. That's probably the only thing I wish it did because I like things that are scent, like 
uh, lip products that are scented, but it has no fragrance. So when I say this is perfect for those of you who don't like, um, you know, your lip products to have a fragrance to it, especially like lip sleeping masks, since you have to, you know, go to bed, you don't want to have something on your lips that smell, you know, fruity or anything like that. This is literally perfect for you because it has no scent to it. It's fragrance free. And look how glossy that looks. This is also really nice to wear during the day. You don't necessarily have to wear it overnight. And the difference between this one and the Laneige, uh, the <laughs> Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, if you are gonna wear it during the day, is the Laneige or Laneige. I know we all say it different. <laughs> but anyway, that one is more, It's more slimy, more it's it's a little bit thicker than this one. This one is almost like a glossy lip balm, if that even makes sense. Now, I also know some people say the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask dries out their lips. Now, I can't really speak on that because um, my lips love that mask. <laughs> like, it thrives off of that lip sleeping mask, as well as the ones that I um, the one that I just showed you and this one. But if you are one of those that have tried out the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and it does dry your lips out, then I would say try this one out to see if you like it better than that one. Um, this is on a whole nother level, y'all. A whole nother level. They did good with this. So, so good. So yeah, the Belief Aqua Bomb Overnight Lip Mask. Bomb. Now this last one I have to share, I've never tried anything from the brand except for a bronzer and this was about two years ago. It's from Winky Lux. A lot of you always ask me have I tried anything from Winky Lux because I haven't really like featured any of their products on my channel. So I saw that they have a lip sleeping mask. This is the, um, they have all their stuff in Cursive Girl. I don't even have the box anymore, but I cannot see because it's so tiny. It's something something butter lip sleeping mask. And I think this is the only lip sleeping mask that they have anyway. Um, but this is how she looks. It just looks like a mini little body butter, honestly. I'm gonna give you guys a little swatch of it on my hand. So there it is right there. And I'm gonna rub it in too so y'all can see how this one looks because the other two that I swatched they look more glossy than this one but once you rub it like really rub it in you can see how glossy and shiny it looks so between this one the belief and the one from Jason Wu I find that this one actually feels a little bit thicker on the lips than those two even though those two are a little thick but this one seems to be thicker but my lips have been loving 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 this lip sleeping mask they are smooth when i wake up they just feel and look healthy like i don't know it's just something about wearing a lip sleeping mask and then waking up the next day and just seeing how the lips look so smooth and healthy and just ready for whatever lip product that i need to put on for that day <laughs> but yes girl these have been my go-to's these are what i'm going to be using all fall and all winter long um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll have all of them linked down below if you guys are interested in trying them out i want to know what are your favorite lip balms and lip oils and lip sleeping masks just all of that because i'm still open to trying out new ones so let me know down below in the comments let's talk about it but that is it that is all that i have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye